Good morning everyone, we are Nicole and Miko and we are currently on a road trip around Sri Lanka showing you just how incredible and beautiful this country is and in today's video we're going to be exploring Siguria and the big rock that makes this place famous. All right, our first stop of the day is Siguria Rock or Lion's Rock and it is what makes this place so famous. It's just this giant rock coming out of the, like, the middle of nowhere. It's really hard to miss. Yes, we just left the ticket off. His tickets are typically 30 US dollars per person, but we're super excited because today we're actually partnering with the Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau. Yeah, it's the first time that we've partnered with a tourism bureau. So we're super stoked. So they have allowed us to come here today and check out Siguria and share it with you guys because this place is magic. Wow, this rock is amazing. It gets like so like so much more in your face the closer you get up to it because in the past, like you when we were driving in um, into Siguria, you could just kind of see into the distance getting yeah. bigger and bigger and now that we're finally up to it, you can really see how grand the cliffs are of the rock. Yeah, I think it's 200 and no, 200, 200 meters tall, I think. Yeah. Yeah, just over 600 feet tall. It's really cool. What made this place famous is actually that there is a palace on top. Well, right now, the ruins of a palace are on top. That even before you actually reach the rock uh, to climb, which is what we're going to do next, oh, uh, the <laughs> gardens here are so beautiful hey they're so beautiful there's like some really cool looking monkeys here different than the monkeys we've seen previously in other parts of sri lanka these ones are a lot cuter they're so cute <laughs> um and there's gorgeous birds kingfisher birds yeah. and uh, some water monitors too and the gardens themselves here is also part of the grandeur of siguria rock and so begins the uh, 200 meter elevation climb you ready no it's already so hot We've been eating way too much good Sri Lankan mm, food and we are nowhere near fit enough to uh, do this without a sweat. <laughs> we just passed a sign that says, be quiet wasps. I'm like, be quiet wasps? <laughs> are we gonna like call them? <laughs> are we gonna be attacked? These are some scary Sri Lankan wasps I think if they like <laughs> know to come attack or they hear you talking. <laughs> Wow, look, the oh, rock, holy. we're like right up to it. It's like a giant cliff face. Oh my God, we have so much farther to go. <laughs> so apparently this is actually like the less steep side because on the other side is like far more of a sharp drop cliff situation. Here, there's a bit of like a hill that comes up a good chunk of the way up the rock. And then we start walking up some really steep staircases around it. But uh, that's what made it such like a nice fortress because you only really had to pay attention to one side on the uh, oh. on the side that's like easier for people to get up on the other side good luck getting up that because you have to go through jungles and rivers and whatnot and then a massive cliff so we're taking a small detour going to the top just so we can show you guys this this is super cool it might not look like much but it's actually like a, a defensive measure that the king had you have this big boulder right here and underneath it you can see like little pillars like little stone columns so I guess the idea was that if there were attackers invading from the front, like below the rock, they would smash these little pillars and let loose this giant boulder to crash down on their enemies, which is super cool. Apparently it's still standing here. I guess they never needed it, or maybe they should have used it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, we made it. Well, like halfway-ish, I think. <laughs> But this is where this is where this uh, the Sugria Rock also gets the name Lion's Rock because there used to be you can just see its paws now, but there used to be a whole lion head here. Mika says it reminds him of Aladdin, like at the beginning of Aladdin, where the genie and Abu come out of this big lion's mouth. Apparently, it reminds him of that. You know, Nicole's supposed to be the Disney buff of the two of us, but I picked up on the Aladdin like similarity first. Can you tell me what happens in Aladdin? What's the storyline? Ah, uh, something about a whole new world. Something, something. <laughs> We have started the very steep ascent at the end, which I think is also going to be the scariest part. It's so scary. It's so beautiful. Terrifyingly beautiful. 
we have made it to the top through the power of modern technology and the form of steel staircases. It was quite easy to conquer this fortress. Also, what's really cool is that we're just like walking around all the the whole site, like on top of all the what the used to be the remains, <laughs> the ruins. Yeah, yeah. It's actually so gorgeous up here, and the coolest part is you have like an amazing 360 degree view of the entire area around Sigaria. Stunning. So that old king in Sri Lanka may have been really popular back in the day, but today in Sigaria. The coal's the most popular royalty around here, hey? Do you feel like royalty? Yes, I do feel like royalty. <laughs> nah, Sigiriya is kind of a cool place because it's a really like popular spot for locals to come from all over the place. So in a place like this, we'll probably get lots of people who live really rurally. So seeing a person who looks like me is very rare. So when young girls come up and ask for a photo, <laughs> it is impossible to say no. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys are fans of 80s music, but I heard and learned that uh, Duran Duran played what uh, what are their songs? Are they filmed what are their music videos right here? What a place to film it, right? It's so so bizarre. random <laughs> in the 80s. <laughs> so strange. Just like, a rock band just on top, on top of, of Sigiri. <laughs> Is it just gone forever? The poor woman's hat flew off her head. So much for not being windy down here. It is still windy here. <laughs> the hat flew off and landed in the water. <laughs> See, how can we get the hat? No, no, don't get the hat. Done. I think Miko's going to try and fish this nice lady's hat out with his tripod. You're famous now. Looks like the coal is not the only celebrity. I'm a hero today, guys. <laughs> that was actually so cute. <laughs> yeah, so cute. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna go down. See you guys at the bottom. All right, you guys. We want to take you around Sigiriya a little bit and just show you the area because it's so beautiful here. It's so like lush and jungly. That's actually because there are a couple different national parks here. So the area is just beautiful. We might get really lucky and see an elephant on our drive. <gasps> What's the plan here? Yeah, we can drive yeah. Okay. Yeah, you feel confident? Yeah. There's puppies on the other side. Sri Lankan locals are so friendly to the animals. So friendly, they do their best, they really do. Every extra scrap they have, every piece of leftover goes outside to the dogs to help. I love that about this country. Wow. But look where we've come up on now. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. This is Talcote Wewa, which is like Talcote Lake, I think. Nice. And uh, I don't remember what Talcote means, but our, our host Dinesh said, but I can't quite remember. Sorry, Dinesh. But it's got, uh, uh, it's a, just an amazing, really tucked away, uh, beautiful wow. lake. Like, it's just so gorgeous here. And you get views of both Sigiriya and Pitaringala from here. Yeah. Wow. Like, wow. I don't think we've explained very well that uh, Pidringal is like another rock next to Sigiriya. It's the one on the left here. <laughs> Sigiriya is on the right. Sigiriya that we visited today. Pidringal that we will be hopefully, visiting now. Hopefully going to right now. It, lo it looks like we kind of left our schedule open. We weren't sure if it's going to be a good sunset, mm -hmm. or like good enough to go up a, another big rock. Mm. But I think it's actually, it's getting a little brighter. I think it's going to be a good day. There's no rain, so that's what matters most. I think we're going to do it. Yeah, I think we're going to go do it. Like it here? Yes. I like it here a lot. It's beautiful. Oh, 
Okay, we have made it to Pirangala Temple. I guess there's a Buddhist temple right here at the beginning. Yeah, at the very bottom there's a temple. Um, but we are just literally walking through the temple yeah. so that we can make our way to the Pirangala viewpoint yeah. at the top of the rock. It was only a thousand rupees, rupees each, each. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's really so good. So it says that it's going to take 30 minutes. Yeah, they have um, like skirts to cover up. And yeah. You gotta take your shoes off. But they have everything here, which is nice. So you get through the temple and then take it all off. <laughs> See you in an hour. <laughs> Look at this place, it's so incredible. Hey, you know, we're not even at like the cool views yet, but I feel like we're plunked in the middle of nature. This is so beautiful. It's amazing to just be casually walking and all of a sudden there's a lying Buddha there. Very cool. I feel like this is not well marked at all. There's definitely sections this where I'm like, is this the right way? There's just a giant boulder. Am I supposed to climb over the giant boulder? <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> the last part of that gets a little sketchy. Look at these views. Awesome. Sigiriya looks so beautiful. Just like, so like out of place it seems. Middle of nowhere. Okay, so there's a beautiful view of Sigiriya, Lion's Rock, down there. We decided to kind of climb up a little higher so that we could see more of Pirangala and like look at this place. 360 degree views, no shortage of angles for different cool photography. I mean look over on this side too, it's so beautiful. <laughs> This is remarkable. There are people doing yoga up here. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> we will not be joining them. It is a pretty cool place to do yoga, but uh, I think I'd fall off the mountain, so that's not happening. I think I see a big lake. <laughs> that's that's where we were. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the girl's like, oh my gosh, look at that beautiful lake. We should go over there at some time. <laughs> we were just there. We were just there. <laughs> we were just there. Miku in the wild. Too afraid to leave his camera. <laughs> I just don't want it to fall. It's pretty windy. It's very windy. I feel very confident that it's sturdy, but not so confident that I could be more than two feet from it. Still won't leave it. Nope. So uh, the dogs ate all of Nicole's food. And now we're their best friends. <laughs> and now they're our besties are here. Uh, but we're getting hungry. Uh huh. Yeah, because so we didn't get the snack. We're going to cut this uh, sunset off early because I don't think it's really happening. We've no. soaked in as much as we can and uh, let's go get some dinner. Yeah, we have a delicious feast waiting for us. Oh, time to go.